Hello and welcome to the realization of a dream. The coming on stream of the Argyle International Airport in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. This is an awareness building and sensitization program produced by the Agency for Public Information in collaboration with the Office of the Prime Minister and Temple Cable Television Network. Today I'm joined by the Minister of Tourism, Sports and Culture in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the Honorable Cecil Mackey. Minister Mackey, good day and welcome. Thank you very much, Dion, and it's my pleasure to be on the program with you. Thank you so much. Well, sir, how do you feel about the February 14th opening of the Argyle International Airport? Well, like all of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, both home and abroad, I am excited and elated. I think that this is something that we have been looking forward to and longing for for many years. And I think the fact that it is now here, it's now a reality. Really, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, we are celebrating and we are rejoicing. As Minister of Tourism, Sports and Culture, I'm on top of the world. I see the excitement and you're definitely on top of the world. How do you see the AIA contributing to the country's overall tourism product? Well, I think it will do so in a major way. Um, first of all, it would unlock the tourism potential for St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We are very much aware of the fact that tourism is the number one economic driver, um, number one productive sector in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and as such, a lot depends on the development of this particular sector. With the coming into being of the Argyle International Airport, I think we will see several doors and windows opened to St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and it would allow us to take our rightful place in the region, and indeed in the rest of the world, in terms of our potential where the tourism product is concerned. So I think that um, as we go forward with the coming into being of the Argyle International Airport, all of those doors and windows will allow St. Vincent and the Grenadines to move forward at an even faster pace. I, I see the direct relation to the opening of the Argyle International Airport and also to what happens within the sporting uh, component of your ministry. Yes, certainly, because um, for years now we have struggled to get our sportsmen and our sportswomen and our sporting teams out of St. Vincent and the Grenadines and we've struggled to get teams to come to St. Vincent and the Grenadines where we can host them um, for games, for competitions, for tournaments. With the ease of the access, it means that the bookings for these persons to go in and out um, will be much easier. Um, I suspect it will become uh, less expensive also to come to the destination and for us to send um, individuals and teams out. So the destination will become much more attractive. I suspect that with the um, improvements in our room stock, where uh, as far as the hotels and apartments and guest houses are concerned, this would also contribute um, to it being ho um, cheaper to host um, these teams and, and these events. So I think. Um, in the very near future, we can expect to see um, more movement of our sportsmen and women, uh, more opportunities for them, and I suspect that um, that will lead to the development of um, sports in an even faster um, manner here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Well, we've had an opportunity to speak with a lot of the managers of the various resorts and hotels across St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and they have provided a reassurance that uh, they will of course be adding more rooms to enhance the, the, their capacity. So this of course is in tandem with what you just mentioned. I think exciting times are here. Uh, this year we will be celebrating uh, the 40th anniversary of June July Mass in St. Vincent and the Grenadines and there is a massive uh, marketing uh, strategy on for this. I'm sure you would want to use the opportunity to speak of, of the benefits uh, this year and what are some of the plans as it relates to the AIA and Carnival in particular this year and culture on a whole. Yeah, well I think um, if we could look at it uh, uh, from a global perspective where culture is concerned, we have been preparing for this, this moment. So we have been as a ministry and our various units, we have been into the schools, we have been into the churches, the communities, throughout the length and breadth of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, preparing our people, getting them ready for this moment and going forward. So we have developed the different festivals in the schools, from the primary schools level, secondary schools, um, in the communities, 
and we have expanded that um, to the national festivals. So we have now developed um, an annual sporting and cultural calendar where we reflect the sporting activities and the cultural activities that we host here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. On a national basis, you know, we have our music festival, um, uh, which is held in, in January. Um, that is in Bekwe, um, featured in Bekwe. We all, uh, also have the blues festival. Then we have in uh, Easter a um, number of activities on the mainland, but more so in Bekwe and Yunnan Island. Carnival, of course, is our big festival. That's June, July. This year we're celebrating 40 years. Um, so we're going to have some very special activities from the month of February, in fact. Um, every month we'll have activities that would lead right up into the climax of, of Vinci Mass in June, July. 40 years, of course, of Vinci Mass in June, July. We had Carnival before that, but shifting out of the Lenten season. Um, we now have 40 years that we can celebrate. So we'll have these um, activities building up to this climax of Vinci Mass 2017. But we also have the, the Gospel Festival. We have our month of activities in October as we celebrate independence every year. And of course, we have our Christmas activities, nine mornings unique to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We have added um, to that the night, nights of activities as well. So we now have a full calendar of cultural events and the preparation of persons not only to participate in these events, but with the coming of the International Airport now. We expect that the hotel circuit, um, the guest houses, um, the entertainment spots, there will be increasing demand because more persons come into our shows, increasing the demand for these artists, um, these persons involved in culture generally. Um, and I suspect that um, the cuisine of St. Vincent and the Grenadines will have that opportunity to showcase and show off our cuisine. So lots of opportunities where culture and sports is concerned and for the general development of the tourism product. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely sure about that. So certainly, Minister, the Ministry is, is definitely prepared and ready for the February 14th opening of the Argyle International Airport. I'm sure you would want to use the opportunity to, to highlight uh, lots of opportunities which will be available in, in the various sectors. Yes, certainly, and we have already um, we're seeing it happening, even as we ready ourselves for the opening of the, of the Argyle International Airport. We, have seen, we are seeing more investors being attracted to the destination. Um, we mentioned the, 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 the question of the room stock. We have 22 um, room stock available to us now um, with the coming into being of um, investors and um, new hotels. Um, those um, the room capacity will be increased significantly and also we'll have persons coming in um, to take up jobs as we join the construction phase of those projects and also the operational phase of those projects. Um, we mentioned about the development of the capacity where um, the artists and the sportsmen are concerned. So there will be jobs created and there will be opportunities created. So I think that the, the Ministry is excited about um, the prospects um, for the development of the tourism product. We are encouraged by the arrival numbers um, for 2016. Um, at the end of October 2016, um, we had uh, just over 6% increase in our arrivals. Um, the World Bank, they have indicated that within the next um, three or so years, um, we should be able to improve on our arrivals by 10% by air. Um, so I think all of the trappings are there. The framework is there for St. Vincent and the Grenadines to take off. And I think we now have to capitalize on that. We've promoted ourselves as the Caribbean you're looking for. We have all that it takes. We have probably the most uh, varied tourism product in the region. I always boast that you can uh, pay for one, 32 islands and keys. You pay for one and you can get 31 free. Um, so as we go forward, um, welcoming more persons to our shores as we develop the tourism product. Um, we have wonderful um, uh, tourism sites now. Uh, we have about um, 12 of them that are uh, properly managed and you can take um, just about anyone there. Um, so I think the, the, the tourism sector um, uh, and the products and services that we're offering, we're moving in the right direction. So as Vincent Jones, we can be elated at what is happening and the possibilities and opportunities that will present itself with the coming into being of the Argyle International Airport. Well, I know, Minister, that you're very elated and you're excited because uh, next Friday uh, you'll be traveling to New York 
to come back on the first charter on the 14th. Uh, just tell us a bit about that and how you were selected. All right. Well, as a um, minister with responsibilities for tourism, sports and culture, all three are intertwined. Yes. And therefore, we have to um, be mindful and sensitive of the other when we're promoting one. A couple months ago, we decided that we will take the promotion of the 40th anniversary of Vinci Mass um, to the region and to the wider world. Um, especially where there are large populations of Vincentians. And uh, coming home for Carnival each year, the largest gathering comes from New York. So we did a major launch in New York, but we also did um, smaller launches in, uh, the, in Barbados, Canada and the UK. That went down very well. Um, what we have decided now is with the persons um, booking their flights to come down from New York, that we have a second chance to excite them, not only for coming home um, for the opening of the, the airport, but reminding them to come home for Vinci Mass and the other cultural festivals. So we are taking the opportunity um, to go up to New York to have a town hall meeting um, to excite them even more than they are already um, about the Agar International Airport, the opportunities, investment opportunities as well. Um, and I will come down. So we will have the town hall meeting on the Saturday um, at Friends of Kong Heights um, from 6 to 10, where we'll be able to use slides and clippings from uh, the development of the project and also use the opportunity to promote a little further um, the uh, 40th anniversary of Carnival. We now have the full slate of activities leading up from um, February uh, to June, July. And also we have the activities that will take place in the last 10 days of Carnival. Um, so we'll use that opportunity to promote that up in New York and then we we'll use the opportunity on the flight coming up because it's our flight, it's a chartered flight. So we'll have the opportunity to showcase all of those things as well and also the songs that were made um, on the Agile International Airport. So it will be a total promotion of uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines and other cultural aspects of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. When I touch down at the Agile International Airport on the 14th, I expect to be screaming as I'm sure that those in the plane and those on the ground will be doing as well. What a joyous moment that will be. Well, what a joyous moment that will be. And of course, we will be there live to bring you the action when the minister and all the other passengers traveling on that charter flight and others scheduled throughout the course of the day will be landing for the very first time at the Argyle International Airport. As the minister said, St. Vincent and the Grenadines is the Caribbean you're looking for. Join me in my beautiful country come February 14th, 2017. This has been another edition of the program, The Realization of the Dream, the common and stream of the Argyle International Airport in beautiful St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Dion John. See you next time. St. Vincent, my homeland, you gave me no mansion, no you a million for the things that you have to offer is more than my heart's desire lovely beach tropical breeze always there within my reach I love you Saint Vincent